And now the details. Philadelphia police are searching for the thieves who stole an entire ATM from outside of a Roxborough cheesesteak shop. They used a chain to rip it out and a truck to haul it away. And this is not the first time that something like this has happened, actually. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live in Roxborough tonight with those details. Maggie. Well, Rick, I can show you what's left of where the ATM once stood. It was right out here outside of Chubby Steaks, and you can see some of the holes in the cement here. That's where it was bolted down, but of course, it was no match for that heavy duty chain and the U Haul truck that the thieves used. We were taking, taking a good look at all recent thefts of ATM in the city for any kind of connectivity. The early morning theft of this ATM outside Chubby Stakes on Ridge Avenue in Roxborough has Northwest detectives reviewing similar crimes, like this one on Somerset Street in Fairhill from late September. Thieves under the same MO using a U-Haul and a chain to rip an ATM from a store vestibule. It happened in August at the High Time Convenience in the 2400 block of Montgomery Avenue. Northwest detectives say three men used that same technique at Chubby Steaks at around 4 this morning. We were able to actually pull it from the foundation of the floor. The suspects in the U-Haul van didn't get very far. It is now in police custody. They found it on 26th and Toronto streets early this morning. In the back was that ATM. The thieves never broke into it. Hopefully they, they figure out who it was, but that's, that's scary that, that people just don't care. In the summer of 2020, Chubby Stakes lost an ATM to attempted thieves who used an explosive to try and break it open. Customers say it's hard enough for small businesses without this added criminal element. It's just a sad, a sad time today when things happen that way. Now, because police were able to recover that ATM still intact, I'm told by detectives after they process it, uh, Chubby's is able to take it back if they'd like to. But employees say they're not so sure about the placement out here again after two ATMs have been targeted here. We're live in Roxborough, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, Maggie, thank you.